What's up guys and welcome back. Today our house is looking way more like a disaster than it probably has in the last couple of videos. Also, uh, if you caught our last video, we tried to put up as much of this illegal blue siding as we could. We didn't get very much put up and now there's about six inches of snow outside again. Uh, the good news is it's stopped snowing and it's not going to snow for another six days. Um, and then it will snow for three days. I thought you were going to say six weeks. Hopefully six weeks. We're looking for six weeks, but six days is all we've got. Uh, we got to get as much of this like siding, soffit, and fascia up as possible. But right now there's too much snow outside. So we're like kind of clearing off the deck, hoping that the sun will melt some stuff. And then tomorrow we're going to get back after it outside. But today, since it's really snowy outside and a giant mess, we've completely cleaned out the sunroom. All of the stuff has come in here. It's been like a little bit of a storage room for us lately. Uh, Brandon and I are gonna go in there, we're gonna start laying down the underlayment and we're gonna start putting the vinyl flooring down in the sunroom. Yes. Once the vinyl flooring is in, we just gotta put in some trim along the floor, do a little bit of painting, some electrical covers, and that room is completely done. Today? It's really big. Probably today, because it's like literally a little rectangle. It will probably take us a couple hours and we'll have it completely floored. Nice. And then maybe we can, uh, I don't know if we can do the, the trim or not, because we gotta cut it, and MDF is bad stuff. It like turns into cancer dust, so we gotta do it outside. Um, we'll I don't know, close. we'll see what happens. We're gonna get started. Allie actually has some editing that she's gotta do, so she's gonna be in the trailer for a little bit, but Brandon and I are gonna be knocking it out in the sunroom. Let's get started. Hello? Frank? Oh, it's cold out here, guys. I just got some work done, and I'm hoping that it's a little bit warmer in the house because it's really cold outside. Hi, dogs. Oh, look who decided to show up. Hello. How you doing? How's it going in here? Good. You're not in the sunroom, which means you must be finished. Done. Wow, do I have great timing or what? <laughs> yeah, we got it done. It's all trimmed up. Basically just needs some caulk and some paint and then we need to trim out the uh, the accent wall. We need to get some pine and then stain it. And... You got trim on the floor? Yep. You guys did it all! <laughs> yeah, what'd you do? What are you talking to? <laughs> um, some work. <laughs> Alright, well give me a tour at least. Okay. Are you excited? Now we can put our exercise room back. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> Okay, it's freezing in here. The door's been opened. The door's been opened. Um, this is our mudroom, and the floor is white. So you can see when it's muddy. So you can definitely see when it's muddy. Um, but it's gorgeous, and it looks bigger. There's a lot of room for activities. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Really, we just need to paint the trim that goes along the ceiling. We need some reverse cord around to cover up those gaps. And then, like I was saying, we need to get some pine, like one by six, and trim out the door and the baseboard and have it stained to be the same color as the accent wall. And then we need like a couple of electrical plates and... It's really this is the problem. This room's done. Yeah, there's a giant opening to the outside. Yeah, if we could put a door handle on this, this room might be a little bit warmer. Yeah, for sure. Whew, it's cold in here. And it's just all windows. Yeah. We're probably gonna end up putting like a mini split up here, which is gonna be like air conditioning and heat. Yeah. Um, because Allie would just not survive if she had to edit out here. Yeah. It's a nice workout zone because when it's a little chilly and you like start working out, it's like a nice reprieve when you're like hot and sweaty. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We could do some yoga in here. Anyway, I think we're uh, probably gonna start moving all this junk and stuff that we moved out of the sunroom back into the sunroom. Uh, and then I think we're gonna start working on the cabinets in the kitchen and getting the toe kicks and all that stuff set up. Let's do it.
All right, this is operation increase the height of the refrigerator cabinet. A lot of you noticed this in the comments a long time ago and we thought to ourselves, oh, maybe that will be a problem. Luckily, it's a pretty common problem and Trent knows how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, we need to raise up the height of this upper cabinet so that the fridge can fit fully into the cabinet. We'll see how he does this. We're just going to unscrew it, lift it up, and screw it back in. Okay. It's not It's not magical. All right, well. It, might, it also might not work. We have no idea. <laughs> Literally no room to spare. <laughs> we got these three cabinets to install, and we got to do some under counter or under cabinet lights, some toe kick lighting, backsplash, the toe kicks, which I think we're gonna try and do right now. A little bit of caulk, putty, and paint on the uh, the baseboard down there. And then the kitchen's pretty much done. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right guys, we've cleaned up for the night. We made a lot of progress today. and We're actually doing something incredible. For the very first time ever, we're gonna cook dinner in our new house. Tonight we're gonna be making a meal from Green Chef, and Green Chef is the sponsor of today's video. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every lifestyle, including vegan, keto, vegetarian, and paleo. They use high quality, clean ingredients you can trust that are seasonally sourced for peak freshness and their recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and photos to guide your cooking. And just like that, we have a delicious, amazing meal. I'm so excited to dig in and so excited to be eating in our house is so exciting. <laughs> just a lot of excitement tonight. If you guys wanna check out Green Chef, go to greenchef.us slash trentonally125 or click our link in the description below and you'll get $125 off plus free shipping. Thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. We are gonna dig in and we'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys and good morning. We are getting after it again today. Allie actually had to leave this morning. She's going to a pelvic floor therapist appointment. Not 100% sure on what that means, but I know it has something to do with the pelvic floor and that's something that's important for having a baby. So she's gone to do some therapy or exercises or whatever they do. She's gonna be gone for a little while this morning. Brandon just showed up and we had him stop and pick up some grout so that we could actually get grouting this wall because once we finish grouting and cleaning all of this tile, we can put the fireplace in its spot, reconnect it to the chimney. We could even build a fire if we wanted to. And then we basically just have like the door upstairs, some trim and like everything from here on up is like done. I'm like really, really excited for that. I gotta do the fan still and a light fixture in the bathroom. But for the most part, everything is almost done. So right now, I'm gonna be getting started. I'm gonna open up this box of grout right here. I'm gonna check the color. I'm gonna hope that the color turned out okay. The thing about these tiles is that they have five different colors of white, tan, brown, whatever on them. And the grout lines are so thin that you probably won't even notice what color the grout is. We got like a tannish brown colored grout. So hopefully it blends in nicely and doesn't stick out. But we're gonna get to Cracking away, getting this wall grouted. We should be outside doing uh, siding, but as you can see out there, uh, our siding is under snow. So I think we're gonna clear off the snow so that the sun can kind of maybe warm it up and dry things out. And then maybe later today, we'll be doing some siding because we got about three days before it snows again. Not ideal. I'm not excited about the snow right now. I want to finish the siding and once I'm done with the siding, like bring it on. I want eight feet of snow this year. I want all the snow. 
just not until I'm done with the siding. Like that's my only request. Can I please just have a little bit of dry Utah delayed weather, that, like delayed winter that we normally have every year where it's like snows a little bit and then it doesn't snow for like a month or two. That's all I need. I just need like a couple weeks so I could finish all of the siding and then it can snow until spring. I don't even care, but I would like to get the siding done. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So all right, well, Brandon and I made really quick work of that. I would say it probably only took like an hour or maybe an hour and a half. I don't know, I kind of lost track of time. And you probably cannot even tell in the video, but all of the grout lines have been grouted. Brandon is just finishing up doing a little bit of touch up right there on the hearth right behind the fireplace. And once he's done, we're gonna scoot this fireplace back into its spot, reconnect the flue, and it would be possible for us to build a fire tonight. Probably not going to, but we could if we wanted to. So just like yesterday uh, when Allie decided that she was gonna go inside while we did the floor in the sunroom and then when she came back out, we were completely done. Allie went to the pelvic floor therapist today and when she gets back, this wall is gonna be completely done. The fireplace is gonna be back in its spot connected to the flue and uh, it's gonna be ready for a fire and she's gonna be super excited. So all we have to do now is uh, very carefully move the uh, wood stove back into its spot and connect the flue. Here we go. It's in. Oh, wow. The grout looks perfect. Good. This is the perfect color. Good. It's 50 degrees outside, otherwise I'd say, let's light a fire right now. Yeah. It's really hot in here. Oh, how's it going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. How'd it go with you? Really emotional. Really? Yeah. It was all about like, I was at a pelvic floor therapy appointment and it was about like the last few weeks or like developing the baby's brain and mind and personality and like spiritual being. It was really intense. It was good. Cool. I'm excited. <laughs> and now you can make a fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished cleaning up the whole fireplace area, vacuuming, dusting. Um, I do have to figure out how to like scrub clean the cast iron part of the wood stove so that there isn't like this dust residue that you can still see on it. Um, maybe just water, just like multiple layers of wringing out a sponge and water. But anyway, I'll do that later. Everything else is like pretty much cleaned and put away. It looks so good, I'm so excited. The way the tile wall came out, 
And these guys are not slowing down at all. It's 50 degrees, so the snow is melting, which is great. We have a couple more days of nice weather before it snows again. So they are just going to crank out as much siding as possible. And we'll see how far they can get. <laughs> This is the fascia. And typically fascia is the same color as the siding? You can do whatever you want. You either do it the same color as the siding or the trim or the roof. And we got this hardy fascia that wasn't the color of the soffit or the trim or the siding. It was like its own color of gray, which didn't match the roof either. So hmm. I decided to junk that even though it was expensive. <laughs> and- Don't tell me that. Uh, we basically went and bought this like really cheap black like steel, like siding, mm -hmm. or maybe it's aluminum. aluminum. Yeah, and uh, it matches the roof. It matches the roof. It's black like the roof, so now it's gonna look super sleek and like Dracula's castle. It's cool. That's what we're going for. <laughs> That's what we're going for. G golly, G golly, G whiz. Willikers. This is, this is about as bad as it gets. Oh, it's probably worse. What are you doing? There's no hook on this gun. Well, don't hook it around your neck. Well. <laughs> don't try this at home. You know you have bags for a reason. You can put a hook on that gun. No, it's got a weird roofer's Roofer's attachment. We don't have that. Okay. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts. When everyone folds your forge to holes. You're placing your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes. You got me tiptoeing around you like All right, well, I think it looks really, really good. Uh, our dirty handprints are like all over this like clean black fascia. But I think especially like once you stand back and all the siding is done. Don't step back any further. It's gonna look real nice, huh? <laughs> While the guys are outside doing siding, I'm absolutely loving the carpet in the bedroom and the stairs. It's so cozy and nice up here now. And Friday, this week, we're actually getting our bed delivered, which is huge because then once we see how much space the bed takes up, we can really start to decide what type of dresser and baby dresser we need and where that's all gonna go. In the meantime, it's so pretty. I'm so excited! <laughs> They got as much done as they could on the siding and then Brandon had to take off for the day right as we got a phone call that a big piece of machinery we've been waiting a long time for just got dropped off at the bottom of the mountain. So Trent had to go all the way down and drive it up here. It sounds like he's coming up around the corner right now. Hopefully this thing will work. It's definitely a little bit sketchy because the roads are muddy and soft but I hear him, so hopefully that's a good sign. How was your drive? That was pretty miserable. 
Did it do that the entire time? Yeah. Just whenever it's on like a slope, it just has that like alarm that goes off. No, this did it one keep was turning off the whole no, time. No, it just started doing that right at that corner. But then I would drive like 10 feet and it would shut off. Yeah. I'd drive 10 feet and it would shut off. I don't, I don't know what was wrong with it. We're going to try to drive this up to our house in the morning once the this part of the driveway is a little bit more frozen and hard packed right now because of how warm it is with the recent snow. It's super muddy and soft, so it would not end well and it would just rip things up for us to try to drive it up there right now. But at least we got it to our house and hopefully this machine will work enough to finish the siding uh, before it snows again in a couple days. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows if it's gonna work. I hate driving these things. Yeah, I know. And it's ruining the driveway. Yeah. Happy day. So awesome and relaxing to be able to just like take a shower and then come and look in the fridge <laughs> and decide if I want a beer or just sit on the couch and do nothing. Such a luxury. I'm even making us some soup for dinner. Soup looks really good. We have salad. And these guys installed the fireplace tonight, so I think we might have to break it out for the first time this season and uh, start up the fire. Give me a minute, because it might take a minute to get it going. <laughs> It's a little smoky in here. Very smoky. All right. Got the kindling going. Got a log in there and it's not too smoky <laughs> in here. It, Kind of got smoky for a minute. We had to open up some windows and some doors. Uh, we do have a really long flue. And so when the flue isn't like, you know, nice and piping hot, basically, it just doesn't want to like evacuate the smoke immediately. So if you don't build like a legit fire and light it and then like close the door and wait for it to like evacuate the smoke, it, uh, it doesn't work too well. So. We got it going and now we're probably just gonna sit back and relax by this nice little tiny fire and warm our toes and maybe have some soup. I know there's gonna be like a groove that I gotta get back into of like making a fire all the time, but I'm really excited to be able to like heat our house with like that nice wood burning stove like heat. And we have this big fan that's above it that like can circulate the air because in the winter in the springtime last year when we had fires, it would be like a thousand degrees in the loft and then it would be like, okay here and then freezing in the basement. So like, we just wanna be able to like circulate the air from up in the top of our space down here to the, the middle of our space. We just wanna be able to like kind of even out the temperature and these big fans are really gonna help. So as soon as we get the other fan in the bedroom, that's gonna make a huge difference as well. And that should be happening like, I don't know, next week sometime when the uh, actual rod that comes for that fan. <sighs> but in the meantime, we're just gonna be hanging out watching a little bit of TV. We're watching a show about people going to space and they're civilians and it's really cool. Would you like some soup for dinner? Oh, my wife has made amazing soup. It's really hot, be careful. Careful, it's really hot. This looks delicious. What a wonderful life. What a wonderful wife. Aw, it is a wonderful life. I know that we're illegally living in our house right <laughs> we're not now. We're living in here. And we definitely shouldn't be. We're not sleeping in yeah. here. We're sleeping in Terry still, but we're just like watching TV next to the fire, eating some food, enjoying something that we've spent so much time building. That's so. not illegal. Anyway, <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with us. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. <laughs>